it is Wednesday. I have not been shooting much. And so this is probably gonna be the very first video of the vlog. And so I wanted to take the time to say thank you so much for following. I really appreciate it. And I wanna bring you guys a ton of value and just really be able to document the journey of building my business, Burkhart Creative Agency, number one choice to amplify your brand. And clarity is so important. Clarity is what you need in your business so that way customers understand where your position is in the market, what solutions you offer, what problems you are there to solve, and who you're there to solve it for. Um, speaking of clarity, that was a little out of order, but uh, just the idea that people have to know what you offer is for them, and you have to be able to do that by communicating it. They will not figure it out by themselves. Why will they not figure it out themselves? Well, I'm glad you asked, because people see like 10,000 ads a day, like literally 10,000 ads. Now, I think that number is vastly exaggerated, but hey, I didn't run the statistics. So the reality is people are massively overwhelmed. Even with the hours that people spend on their phones, it's like for 30 to seconds to about two minutes at a time and so their intention spans are very short and they are not sitting around wondering how you're going to solve their problems you have to hand it to them and so I've been working on my framework that I can show here it's a whiteboard notoriously difficult to read on screen and so basically what I've done is I'll try to do it so basically what I have it is the setup is the problem the solution the result and uh, the tool in which I plan on doing that. And so for Burkhart Creative Agency, the problem is that businesses are getting ignored. That, you know, you open up a brick and mortar, you launch your website, crickets. It's not that people are actively ignoring you, it's that they don't even know you exist. And so your business, the impact you could be making, the thing that you poured your heart and soul into, and even if you're just like, not just, but even if you're like a CMO for a company, like you're still spending, you know, 40, 50, 60 hours of your week on this thing, that is getting completely ignored. Super frustrating, right? So the solution that Burker Creative Agency provides that I believe is like the solution right now, especially with all the updates happening with the iOS where people are opting out of tracking, like 96% of people opting out of tracking from Facebook. Google's about next year, 2023, completely eliminating third-party cookies. Advertisers' ability to simply be able to send someone money and all of a sudden you get a whole bunch of leads is coming to a rapid close, building really relationships, however, will never go out of style. And we do this by an organic content marketing engine. And so what does that mean? Well, it means that if you can't pay your way into it, you're gonna have to create content that engages with people, that story tells about your business, that brings clarity in what it is you offer, what problems you're solving, and who it's for. And how we decided we're gonna do that is what I call the content prism framework. Now I'm gonna go and set my phone down because my arm's tired and I will talk a little bit about that. So the content prism framework is actually pretty simple. If you've ever used a prism in school. You shine a light into one side and the shape of the prism that's made out of glass separates the light into each of their individual colors. And so we have one long form piece of content, whether it's a podcast or a TED talk, something that's like three, five, 10, 20 minutes long, an hour, and break it into what we call micro content. Micro content is basically just a small nugget of information, of truth, of something helpful, of something educational, a very short story surrounding your business and your services. And and then we have the reverse prism and that prism is what takes all of that micro content and directs it back to one thing, which is the one action or one place you want all the people who have engaged with your content to go. So that could be a website, a specific landing page. It could be them scheduling a call with you. And so go straight to like a Calendly page, like what we use to be able to book out calls. And so it's incredibly important. And so you have one in and one out, but in the middle is where all the magic happens with the micro content. And so that is our solution for having a organic content marketing engine to be able to get your story in front of people so they can begin engaging with it. And the reality is, is all of these social media platforms, when they first start, have this incredible reach. And then as time, as it gains users, their algorithm has to get more and more strict so that people don't see content that they don't want to see and then thereby leave the platform. So the idea is all these platforms are decreasing the amount of content people see so that they stay on the platform because it's only showing things that they want them to see. And so your opportunity begins to dwindle. So it is important that you're showing up consistently, often, and with a variety of kinds of content so that people can actually find you, discover your business, and get noticed. And we believe that our framework is the way to make that happen. And so, yeah, so that's what we have been working on, just visually, mentally going through for myself, for my business, and making sure that I clearly understand the problem, clearly understand the solution, clearly understand the result, which is that they get noticed, and that I'm able to explain the tool in which we do that. And so as I get better and better at explaining that, it'll be, 
just natural that more and more clients will want to use us as a service because they'll see clearly how it fits into their business need because I will be able to hand that to them on a silver platter. And so for your business, obviously that's gonna be hugely important that you're clear. You know, if you sell beer, then you need to be super clear about what problem that's solving. Maybe it's that people, you know, have tried everything and what you have is a very unique blend of hops and the process is more interesting or whatever it is. And so that scratches that itch of like being unique. I don't know what that is for you. You have to figure that out on your own and do the hard work that I've just had to do where I spent the last hour on the whiteboard trying to make sure that what I'm doing is as concise as possible. So anyways, so that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. Microphone on me, so hopefully, hopefully the audio is not total garbage. But on my way to meet a guy named Christian Chambliss with Youth Alive, it's a part of a partnership that we're fostering between us and Nico that's still in its very much beginning stages. But we're super excited about it, and so I'm off to meet him. So you know that we're about to watch a beautiful time lapse of the meeting. <laughs> Since this vlog is all about sharing my journey in building Burkhart Creative Agency as a business owner, so much of what I'm learning about is developing myself because myself is running the business. And so as I get better, the business gets better. And so I love reading, that's my primary way of learning. So I've shared with you guys some stuff about At Your Best by Carrie Newhoff, which is really good at like organizing and being efficient with time. And I just got this new book called Big Money Energy by Ryan Serhan, and the title is completely ridiculous. It's one of those ones where you're like afraid to like show people because it's so like, I don't know, like a gimmicky title, but it's really good. Like I really enjoyed reading this book. In fact, I just got it like a day ago. Well, two days ago and I finished it yesterday. And for the first time in a long time, as an adult, I stayed up late reading instead of going to bed, be rested like a responsible person. I paid for it, but it was a good read. So I started following Ryan because the marketing for his real estate company is just off the charts. Like it's so good. He came in with a complete splash and is now, if I'm not mistaken, one of the highest uh, grossing income real estate companies in the world. And I'd say venture to say then, probably the biggest real estate agent in New York City. And so a lot of that comes from his charisma and personality. And a lot of it comes from the fact that he has a team of people marketing for him. And his videos absolutely scream that. And he is super entertaining. He's like super fun to watch and listen to. And he does outrageous things like jumping in pools with a suit on. And he wrote this book and it was really really inspirational. For me, there was a lot of overlapping material, but that will be, I have a full book review that I'm gonna be tagging from this vlog. So this vlog is really just sharing with you guys that I read the book, it's really interesting. It's specifically written for the person, probably frustrated person, right? Who has seen other people succeed and do better than them, despite the fact that they don't have any real reason why they have, but they have that charisma. And I know I experienced that. There was someone in my life several years ago, a dude who was a video producer and his charisma was off the charts. People loved him. They didn't necessarily I really enjoyed working with him as I found out. But as far as his charisma, it was off the charts. He had that big money energy, 100%. And it was frustrating to watch him just succeed just by nature of just people being like drawn to him, right? And so he talks a lot about that in this book and he talks and is able to articulate some of what goes into having that big money energy with a lot of personal stories of moments that really defined him in his career. I think my biggest actionable takeaway was realizing that as the business owner, I'm so focused focus on the areas to improve, the things that need help, the fires that need put out, that I discount the things that I'm doing well. And the thing is, the people that are looking to hire you or work with you, whatever it is, the people that wanna write checks to you, they are interested in the results that you bring. And if you are bringing those results, they don't need to know about all the little things that you need fixing and the things that you think can improve. And so what ends up happening on my end is I end up really downplaying what I'm doing, downplaying the progress that I'm making, downplaying the success that I'm having because I know in my heart that it could be so much better, that there's more potential out there that could do better, be faster, have better results. At the end of the day, all those things are true and they need to be true because I'm a business owner. It's my job to always 
students improve what we're doing, but that doesn't mean that it's not awesome right now. And it doesn't mean that I can talk about how awesome it is right now. And so I would imagine I'm not the only person that feels that way. I'm the only one that downplays what they're doing because they see all the holes in it. But the reality is, is you are doing something awesome. I'm doing something awesome. We can talk about it. And when we talk about it and absorb how awesome what we're doing really is, we get some of that big money energy. And that's pretty freaking exciting because that big money energy, that develops the momentum, builds the connections, and moves the ball forward even when you're sleeping. Pretty cool, right? So anyways, check out the book. Check out my book review. I'm going to have a link for it. I'm going to have cards for it, end screens if it's on YouTube. Check it out. Happy Friday, everyone. I just wanted to share with you some really cool stuff that I'm doing with King City, which is a digital, digital and physical church that I'm helping build with Chesley Lunday. All the content that we make is not sermons on Sunday repackaged, but actually made for screen video uh, sermons that we're actually calling keynotes. And so I wanted to show with you guys the cool setup that we have going on. We've converted this room into a studio, got the backdrop, got the lights. And so you know I'm gonna drop a fancy uh, time lapse of a set up and shooting so I just want to share that with you guys check it out kingcity.church yeah super excited to share the content that we're making because we believe it's gonna make a difference and uh, it's exciting in a time of typically churches making pretty boring content and pretty much not showing up online in ways that are modern we are turning that all on its head and we are going to be the 21st century church and we're gonna rock the heck out of the internet and your phone So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. There is more happening to the set. Someone else is bringing some of that stuff. It's getting loaded in in just a little bit. But I want to at least explain on the camera side what's happening since that is what I'm all about. So right here, we have our camera A. It is my beautiful Lumix S1. It shoots 6K resolution, 10-bit 422. Actually, I don't know if the 6K does 10-bit 422, but I know for sure at 4K it does. This camera is a monster at creating incredibly precise, beautiful colors. It performs in all kinds of environments. So obviously with the studio environment, it's very controlled lighting, but I come from the wedding world, so I needed a camera that could shoot in bright sun, harsh lighting, uh, lots of moving, and this is definitely that. And so I have a matching camera down here, different lens, that I'm doing a roving gimbal shot as the camera B has a point of interest. So like the last shoot that we did with King City, we did a motorized slider, and I did like some handheld cameras, so that way the camera A had a little bit of movement, and then we had the slider, but this one's a little bit different we have stationary A camera and a roving B camera. So one thing I get, wanted to show you guys, in fact, I don't think I can really flip around the camera, but I will try to show you is the set we have right now. Uh, we wanted to show off because of the fact that King City is a digital first church and the production is part of what makes what we do cool. It's not the why, but the how is pretty cool. And so we wanted to show off some of the rigging involved in making the shoot. The camera essentially takes the larger image and brings it down to the smaller sizes. So we've done 1080, HD outputs that look far better than any 1080 camera I've ever seen because it's taking 4 and 6k footage and shrinking it down But I wanted to be able to do it the quote-unquote right way and so we're doing You know 5.9k basically 6k on the a camera 4k on the B camera and that way we'll have a clean Beautiful full resolution 4k output so excited to show you guys the final product We're finishing the last three Enneagrams today for the Enneagram series and then we're gonna start editing putting things in the cutting floor and uh, Have them to you soon Of those uh, causes 